eggplant is a vegetable that a lot of people do not know how to prepare. Whenever I prepare eggplant, they always say, I've never done that. I don't know how to do that. I'm going to show you how easy it is. It just looks kind of looks like a bizarre plant, doesn't it? This is related to tomatoes and potatoes, part of the nightshade family. When you're buying it, you want to look for nice, even color. This is the really dark purple ones that most people have seen in the stores. You want to be sure it's a little cap is sitting on there and that it's attached. This one will not come off very easily. You also want to be sure there's no brown spots. Brown spots are a sign of decay. And you want to be sure the color is glossy, not dull, because that means it's going away from ripe. So I'm going to show you how to make this. The easiest way to do the eggplant is to cook it whole in the oven. So the first thing you want to do is you want to take off the cap. And what I do is I just pull up each little leaf on the cap and it's kind of like, you know, a jester's cap. And I just pull that off and you'll see it's like a star. Now you can see the inside of the, well, the outside and the inside into the eggplant. And then you take the tines of your fork and you punch holes into it pretty deep because you don't want it to explode in the oven. So you just do that. I go around and I'll be sure there's one or two all the way around. I'm going to slice this one in a minute because I've already cooked one because it takes about 50 minutes. So I want to show you how I did that. This is how I baked it. I put it up on a, I put it in a pie pan or something that's small that it'll fit in. A loaf pan will also be uh, usually about the right size. Now this was the same size as the one I just showed you. And then as it cooks, it becomes wrinkled. And that's when you know it's done because it has shrunk inside. So we're going to take that out, put it on the board, put this away. I'm going to show you the inside. I usually cut it the long way because then it's real easy to get into. And you see the steam coming off. It's just barely hot enough for me to be able to touch. I can touch the outside. And then we're going to scoop this out. And you're just going to put it in a bowl. You just, it comes off so easily off the skin. You don't have, she just wants really nice to do them whole. You don't have to worry about, oops, don't have to worry about skinning them because the skin is hard to get off. It's really close. So you take all the stuff that's soft, you put it in the bowl. Now, this is like the basic prep for one. And then you would mix this with different uh, spices. You can put tahini and make it into baba ganoush, which is very popular in the Middle East and one of my favorite dishes. Now, I want to teach everybody how to do everything, but boy, when it comes to my favorite ones. And so then what you can do to this is you can add the different ingredients, but what it really is used for is a is an ingredient within something else, like you could put this into lasagna, but you can also make it into just a spread. And one of my favorite things to do is to not add anything. It's just to take it and put it on bread. You can put it on pita bread, rye bread, any whatever your favorite bread is. Then I also could put a uh, tomato on here. I could put other vegetables and make myself one of the best sandwiches that you could have. Doesn't that look nice on this rye bread? Oh. That is so divine. So I could put tomatoes, onions, whatever else I like on my sandwich, and I can close that up. You can also use white bread. You can use pita bread. You can use any of the pocket breads. You know, just whatever you're having. You can also really great in uh, burritos, those flour burritos, I mean the flour tortillas for burritos, and just roll it up with all the other ingredients. Now, that's the easiest way to fix eggplant. So simple. So now I want to show you how to slice it. And there's a case, you know, it does, the one thing about eggplant, if it's not cooked all this way, is that it loves to absorb oil. So the best way to, to have slices that are fried is to oven fry them. So what we do is we just cut through here, no need to peel, and you cut them about, oh, about a quarter of an inch. This is a little thick. And after you get it all sliced, there you can see all the little seeds, and put it in the egg wash. And then you put it in some kind of flour or breadcrumbs. I like the masa harina on it. I love corn. 
Then you put them onto a cooking tray so that they're not touching each other, but that they are able to be seen by the heat. And so you just keep doing that until you get your whole one on there. You bake it at 300 and it comes out in about 20 minutes. And you might want to turn them once. When you're going to use slices of eggplant with oil, you have to be careful because eggplant absorbs oil very easily. So I wanted to show you a quick way to take care of that so you won't have soggy eggplant, which is just awful. So in this pan, in this colander, I have sprinkled both sides of the slices with salt. And if you notice, there's little drops and that salt has been taking the liquid out of the eggplant and it kind of seals it up so it won't absorb the salt, I mean absorb the oil that you're going to put it in. So I wanted to coat these and put them on a grill. So what you do first is you rinse these off because they have too much salt. So you want to just rinse those off quickly. You don't want to soak them. Remember they like to absorb. And then you put them between the paper towels and dry them out as best you can. And then you just dip them in oil on each side lightly, lightly, remember we don't want it to soak in there. And then we lay it on the grill. And this will cook for about, oh, 20 minutes, 10, 15 minutes on each side. So I hope this has given you some ideas that eggplant is not a scary vegetable. It does have an acquired taste, but I think you'll be surprised how easy that is. I want you to go to my website. I have recipes. I have the toppings. I have everything I've done in this show so you can do it yourself at home. Eggplant doesn't have a lot of nutrition, but it has a great amount of taste. And it's one of those items that we should all try to try sometime. Now I wanted to tell you that this process is called, in the culinary world, degorging. It's taking the liquid out. But I want to tell you what my mom called it. She called it weeping because she thought they looked just like little teardrops. And so that's what I like to call it. It's much more dramatic that way. Give eggplant a try. I think you'll like it. See you next time.